What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a vintage cube draft here on the internet. And i uh, got some stipulations in the queue. Let's see. Anything, anything in this pack, nothing really is the thing. Hmm. What did Kurt say? Universal Osaka. Oh my god. Kurt just loves Japan. It's literally it's like it's his favorite thing ever. Glenn is a banger. I agree. We got 34 seconds. That's a good amount of time. Hmm. I think we're just going to start with the Grave Titan. It feels nice and safe. Thank you for the content you created. Keeps me entertained on my drive. Dude, I really appreciate that. I'm I'm happy to be your your drive content. Glenn for sure, please. I took Grave Titan. What's the stip? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We're still up in the air. If I see any if I see anything that pushes me in a specific direction, I'll let you know. But right now I think we're taking Necromancy after we take this Grave Titan. That's a pretty solid that's a direction to go. Also, upheaval is cool. Upheaval is cool. The stiff is for Frank to take all the cards he likes. That was one of Dan's stiffs. I'm going to take... Oh, oh. Okay. I think it's Necro. Also, Colagon's Command and Upheaval are both very, very good as well. Oh, man. Mind Twist? Are we just drafting the same deck? No, we're not. Also, Underground Sea and Misty Rainforest. Also Metalworker. Also Force of Will. I'm going to Mind Twist here. I still don't think it's good. I'm sorry. I think it's good. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, this is this is an interesting pack. Yeah, I don't want to take a seal over a Mind Twist, though. Like, I I, I know I know the, the arguments about Mind Twist. About, I think my, Library and Mind Twist are some of the most contentious cards in the cube in terms of power. But, like, when they're good, they're friggin' great, right? And when library's bad, it's still just a land. And when mind twist is bad, it's a little worse than that, I think. But maybe butcher of Kozilek. I kind of like butcher because this is definitely a deck where we can. Uh... Battlefield on Battlefield. at the beginning of the next cleanup step. Okay, that's different. I don't love Basalt Monolith. I do want Kozilek because maybe we can get, like, Sneak Attack or Show and Tell here. Not Show and Tell. I keep saying Show and Tell. Through the Breach. Um, no, Baleful Strix is always good. Duretti is okay. None of these lands are great. Damnation could be actually fine. Oh, man, it's all black, but when you put, when you put Hot Liquid in it, it transforms into the Marauder's Map. That sounds amazing. Hey, it's a Daretti. I kind of like Daretti, actually, because we are trying to reanimate. Like with this animate dead. And additionally, like, Daretti lets us discard, so... Also, Daretti's a great outlet for, like... Daretti number two. This is good. This is a good direction. If I see a if I see a sneak attack, I'm gonna take Flame Slash instead of Nighthawk. Original Damnation art is fantastic. The best part about the original Damnation art is that it, it mirrors the Wrath of God art, and that's like some of my some of my favorite things are when you have um like inverse symmetrical art. I'm gonna take I think it's Flame Slash here. Season Pyromancer is a discard outlet. I'm going to take the Yawgmoth, though, just in case we get the Bitter Blossom back. I don't think we're going to. Ophiomancer. That's like a Bitter Blossom. Also with Duretti and Ophiomancer, like... This dude's a... a what? Alright, it's a late... It's a late metal worker, man. Hero's Downfall. This stick's looking alright. Too bad that Bitter Blossom didn't come around. Unforgiven has a stip in the cube. It says, Draft Sneak Attack through the Breach... Eureka, any two of those, or all three would suffice. Again, it's hard to do because 
you just might not open them, right? But we are setting ourselves up to be a sneak attack deck. Yeah, I'll take a Grim Lava Mancer. What the heck? Yeah, Ophiomancer, sack the snake, make a snake, sack the snake, make a snake. Yeah, I, I'm gonna whenever the whenever the Seb McKinnon secret layers come out, I'm definitely gonna grab those and put them in my cube. Or maybe I'll leave the original damnation. I don't know. Sure. Ma -ma -ma Mox Jet. Oh, I love Mox Jet in a pack where I don't actually even have to choose anything else. Nothing else is great here. Like Toxic Deluge is super cool, and I hope it comes back. But none of these cards are like defining. Mox Jet is friggin' fantastic, bro. OG Damnation, please don't take that out. Uh, I did not pre-order those secret layers because there was only a couple cards from each one I wanted. Like I think, I think the Seb McKinnon has two. I literally just want the Sower and the um, the Damnation. Um, so like I, I didn't want to spend like the forty bucks just to get the two cards, which I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. I'll probably be I'll, I'll probably get wrecked and uh, I'm gonna take Mox Diamond here. I hope Ulamog comes back and I hope we get the friggin' sneak attacks and things, but. Oh, Blood Crypt? Oh, I like a Blood Crypt. That's nice. If Knight's Whisper comes back, I'll be grateful. But I want to fix this mana. Fix this mana. <coughs> Excuse me. Really looking for those cards that I mentioned. Can we get them? Sundering Titan is interesting. I hate killing my lands. I hate killing your lands. I think I literally just want Heartless Act. There's so many times where I just would love to have a Heartless Act. I got a gift soob. <laughs> That's, is that what we're doing? Um, I think it's Prismatic Vista. Kiki Jiki's fine, but we're never going to be able to combo anything with it, so I'm just going to take the Vista to make our mana a little better. Shallow Grave is what we want to see when we have a Kozilek, and we have the potential for an Ulamog to wheel. We also have Lava Claw Reaches that could come back in this pack. No one ever takes Lava Claw Reaches. Also, Yawgmoth is a discard outlet, right? Yeah, for Proliferate. Oh yeah, Mark, this definitely looks like the mug. Um, This pack's interesting. Plateau is is a really nice land. It's a really pretty land. If they're in Dynamo, do you do anything? I guess you let us cast... Could just be Rabble Master as well. Rabble Master also not bad with the Ogmoth. We can take a Rabble... Um, I don't think we need Blood Chiefs Thirst. We have Flame Slash, Heartless Act, and Hero's Downfall, and Duretti so far. So I'm going to take the Rabble Master... Because of his Yawgmoth. And if we get Recurring Nightmare, it's also good with that as well. Yeah, Bone Shredder, I guess. We are Trophy Buddies. You got your third four minutes after I got mine. Oh, yeah. You always have to do it first, though, don't you, MTG Pyro? Always have to be first. Congrats, buddy. Um. Yeah, I'll take the Bone Shredder. I'm not thrilled about it. Toxic Deluge did come back. Oh, man. Is Recruiter pretty good? I'll, it gets a Ravel Master and Ophiomancer. I'm not super excited about that. Young Pyromancer, what do we have? Heartless Act, Flame Slash, Hero's Downfall, Mind Twist, Shallow Grave. Actually, Pyromancer could be great here. Plus, again, tokens, Yawgmoth, etc. Oh, I guess it does get Yawgmoth, yeah. Interesting. Okay, I don't think the... Oh, Makeshift Mannequin, because we have Kozilek. I don't think the Ulamog came back. I also don't think the other thing came back that we wanted. That's unfortunate. Uh, 
I'll just say shrine here. <laughs> Exhume? Sure. Man, I'm really worried that Ulamog didn't come back. Gideon. A lot of, lot of good white cards going around. Okay. You know what we're looking for here? We are looking for Sneak Attack, Show and Tell, Emrakul. I actually think it's Glorybringer over Liliana here. Yeah, I think Glorybringer is actually very, very good. Oh, there he is. There's your daddy. Oh yeah, that guy's definitely entering the entering the deck zone. I would be fine taking an Angrath's Rampage or a Fatal Push if they came back. God, we're just not meant to see a, a sneak attacker through the breach here. Phyrexian Metamorph is fine though. Not hoot too high on an Izzet Signet. I think I'd just rather have the Metamorph. Meh. I mean, Char can just win out of nowhere. Maybe Sling Gang Lieutenant can too. This is always going to be a three drop in our deck. Char does trigger Young Peasy. I'm going to take the Sling Gang. Light steel, huh? Interesting. Strip mine, huh? Interesting. Blight steel, we're never going to be able to reanimate. We don't have any of the cards to put him into play, unfortunately. So I don't think it's blight steel. I think we're just taking strip mine. Just trying to just trying to wreck some people. Splinter twin, come on. Ashen rider, come on. I would have killed to see this last draft. I'm going to take the Ashen Rider. I think we need another discard outlet. We only have like Duretti and Yogmoth. I think we, I mean, we definitely passed Unus Prowler in the previous pack. But like, I think we have some good threats if we can just get them into the graveyard. If I see an Entomb, I'd be really grateful. Him to Torok. Yeah, let's take him to Torok. It also triggers Young Peasy. Okay, so nothing. I guess we're done. Don't care about Croc the Thumbless, really. Eh, let's take Rakdos Return. You could always him yourself and hope. Yeah, I, I mean, like, we have a bunch of... I, I think our deck is pretty decent right now. Oh, Una's Prowler came back. <gasps> oh, that's pretty good. Okay, grateful. Papa Bless. Let's take Fatal Push. Fatal Push got to be better than Flame Slash, right? Maybe. Wow, that Una's Prowler was a blessing. What do we got? Necromancy, Makeshift Mannequin. Oh, we can cut Exhum. Animate Dead and... Uh, wasn't there something else, right? Makeshift, Necromancy, Animate Dead, Shallow Grave. You could... Oh, okay. I was going to read it again, but... Why well, cut Exhum? We have to cut something, and I, I, I don't love Exhum because if they get anything in the graveyard, in the late game, it's not nearly as good. Living Death? Sure. B -b -b Bayou? Sure. Lingering Souls? 
Sure. Inkwell? Sure. Parallax Wave? Sure. Oh, I forgot we had a Mox Jet. That's exciting. And a Mox Diamond. Ooh. I mean, we could turn three Animate Dead as well. Like, we already have Animate Dead, too. Whatever we can do with Exhum, we can do with Animate Dead. But I think, I think uh, Exhum is a little more risky. See, I kind of don't like playing Mox Diamond as a land. Like, these are our four boys. Also, Kozlek's great with Makeshift Mannequin as well, so... I think we might cut Ravel Master. We already have Duretti, Ophiomancer, and Sling... Actually, Sling Gang's gotta be worse than Ravel Master, right? Or maybe they were good together. Whoa. I don't know if I've had a turn one win in this cube. What's better, Living Death or Exhum? Probably Exhum, because we don't have, like, Buried Alive or anything, so... We'll cut the Sling Gang, Lieutenant. I want to play Mox Diamond as not a land. I think we play Strip Mine here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No white. And then we have eight. So we need 13 cards. This is 13, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that seems good. I mean, I have to cut something though, right? Like, what what am I cutting for Exhum then? I also don't think it's very it's it, the turn reel is not super likely. Like, we have to hit one of these more likely than not this one. Otherwise, our turn our, our literal hand has to be like Mox Diamond land first turn, land a discard to Mox Diamond, land for second turn, Una's Prowler, Exhum, and a big creature. Like, this has to be seven of the eight cards we'll have on turn two. I really don't think it's that significant. Uh, the, the percentages is not that high. It has to be three lands, Mox Diamond, Unis Prowler, Exhum, Ashen Rider. No, wait. Actually, land on the first turn. One, two. Actually, we need one more land. No, because one's going to come down on the first turn, second turn. Yeah, okay, so. I mean, I'm just saying, like, this is, like, this is, I mean, I think Exhum is good in the early game, too. But if we have to wait a turn to play Necromancy, that's fine. If we have to, if we just go turn two Una's Prowler discard, turn three Necromancy, that's fine. I, I don't, I don't think, like. Like, we'll see. What are, what are we, what are we playing instead of Exhum? Like, what would we cut? Maybe like Fatal Push. Like I think that the, the cut is tough. Like I really don't know what to take out here. Like I could see if we want to go all in Fatal Push because we still do have Heartless Act and Heroes Downfall. And like Duretti is a good way to kill things. So let's say every time we draw Fatal Push, let's see if it's Exhum. And see if that's any better. Okay. Not with this hand. No, we're gonna mulligan this hand. It's rough. I'll keep it and I'll send back Kozilek. Thank you. Hardest of core. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Interesting. Do we play anything this turn? I think we play a Duretti. Yeah. 
And now we like we discarded this instead of strip mine because strip mine online is pretty good and we can kill like a blue source or something. Oh, you got it. Give me a reanimate spell. Okay, you don't have to. Yeah, because if they like, if we exhume, they just discard something in his prowler. <laughs> so, so this situation not the worst. Duress, yeah, it's fine. We likely should have. I mean, like, there's a, there's an argument to be made that we could have discarded this in response. Um, but they're obviously if they're playing Una's prowler and and black heavy, then there's definitely a chance that they think necromancy or uh, animate did it. And that's not really what we're looking for here. Uh, Lucariac, I just mentioned that, so. Yeah, so this would be Exhume. <laughs> uh, so, they're going to Entomb here. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, so also we exhume in response they entomb and get worm coil engine. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> yep, that's good. That is a good one. Three lands, huh? Seems Batman. So we're, we're holding this because they might actually just attack one and then we can kill the other token. I think they're definitely going to attack both, but. Yeah, all right. Yeah, ticking up is definitely an option as well. That's a good point. <laughs> okay, Ashen Rider out. Seems good. Oof. All right, well. Necromancy live, animate dead live. Shallow grave live. Grave Titan, not not so much live. Two daddies, Gristle Daddy and Grave Daddy. It's very odd that we call these big black creatures daddies. Vista, okay. This color my name is is called Goldenrod. <laughs> Why is that funny? Fuck it, I'll do it live. Oh, man. Remember Bill O'Reilly? That guy was a famous dude until he came out as a huge friggin' harasser. Ho. Ho. Oh, boy. Allegedly. <laughs> Just kidding. Oof. We don't want to discard this makeshift mannequin, so we're going to cast it. Oh, look, one of your two cards is a counterspell. How nice. <sighs> the rich get richer. We 
Well, thankfully, this guy's on top now, so we can shallow grave when we hit that guy. Ophiomancer. That's actually real good. <laughs> what the allegedly... Just kidding. Yeah, cast your exhume now. That would be really cool. Toxic Deluge for two. Jesus. Never-ending string of boats over here. <laughs> this is actually nice. I don't even have to take damage. I, I can't, like, let this go because then we go to three and if they have any removal spell, we're dead. So we're just going to copy... <laughs> like, this is Phyrexian Metamorph at the top. I mean, we're just trading here. That's the whole point of me doing this, to not go to three. Six mana, huh? Blah. Fat Voms. All right, one time. We need our one time, guys. That was not our one time. But we're not dead. So, you know, we got that going for us. If our one time is Ashen Rider, it's very good, because we get to exile the Worm Coil. One time, this next time. That's not... That wasn't... No. 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 Maybe. Okay. I understand. I get it. I get it. See, again, I'm glad we don't have Bone Shredder in here, because that guy would just be horrendous. Oh, boy. You know what card's good? Rakdos's return. I'll keep the sand. Are there any reanimations? But we had one, remember, and they countered it. That was cool. I mean, this is a turn to Duretti if we if we play our cards right, discarding Grave Titan and Ashen Rider. But boy, is that a risky proposition. Okay, we did not play our cards right, unfortunately. Still turn three to ready. Oh, a Lutero core. Nice. Well, this could be bad. If they have Exhum, it's great. The cards we saw, what do we see? We didn't see Animate Day, we didn't see Necromancy. We saw Exhum, Null Priest of Oblivion. <sighs> didn't even hit my Duretti? Nerd. Here comes Gristlebrand. Because the opponent, when they play Reanimate, interesting. They're just going to Necromancy our Ashen Rider and kill our... Oh, they're just going to hear... Okay, well, this is all wild. Things are happening right now. They also, we know they have, um... We know they have, like, Rakdos' return and things, so I'm actually just going to play this and discard this. If they have artifact removal, they can already get rid of Mox Jet, so I might as well play the Mox Diamond.
discarded Shallow Grave. They're discarding all their reanimate spells. Does that do anything? Not really. That's just alpha here. Yeah, we're going to save this for a rainy day. I mean, the funny thing is, us drawing an exhum here is actually pretty decent. I'm killing him with the snake beats. You guys ever, you guys ever buy any snake beats by Dre products? Are they gonna, are they gonna, <laughs> sure, okay. We do not have Toxic Deluge, so they could Deluge for two here. Thief of Sanity. Well then, Duretti. Uh, let's go red, black, this guy. Duretti Spaghetti. And give me a second artifact to kill this guy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What do we take Pyromancer over? Not much. I think it might have tabled. Oh, they're not attacking with Tar Pit. They're at four right now, so I feel like we're actually doing okay. Ancient Tomb. Oh, boy. Just a worm coil? Just a good old-fashioned worm coil engine? Show me where your grave daddy is. Are there any reanimate spells? What are they getting back? Thief of Sanity? Wow, that's a, that's weird. That was a weird choice. If we kill this, do we just get to attack and they block here? They take one, two, three, they gain two. But then they're still, like, dead on board and they have one card. If we kill this, they're just dead, right? Yeah. So, let's do that, I guess. Okay. Got him. <laughs> Seems good. I almost like Flame Slash a little better. Like, it kills Thief where push has to be pushed. <laughs> it has to be revolted. So. <sighs> That's funny, though. They didn't play any big things. I wonder if they took out a lot of their big stuff because they were they were like, well, I don't want you to necromancy my stuff. <laughs> mm. Sand has nothing going on, really, but it's still got enough lands to play in a Mox Jet. And any, like, two, three, or four mana spell is really good. I'm going to keep it. I'll, I'll risk it for the biscuit. Mm-hmm. Two drop, three drop? Discard outlet? That was a good hit. Pack rat. Come on, flame slash. Kozilek. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to have to deal with this now. I think the game's just ended. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess we could have hit that maybe. That would have been good. Just make a rat immediately. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, okay. Well, both sides played hard. If we can draw land into... If we can draw Mox Jet, or Mox Diamond, I think it's good. 
we could not we could not draw mox diamond yeah all right cool so pack rat won the day always a pleasure pack rat <laughs> good times I don't think I want to get the actual pack run off the board. And next turn we do have Grave Titan. So maybe we're not just dead? Because you can block all three rats next turn with Grave Titan, Rat, Zombie, Zombie. And then Glorybringer Run taps. Sure. Because they only have three rats to attack with. We take... Oh, we oh no, we got blockers. I was like, we take eight. Oh, no. We can also double block a rat here. If we just want to take four, go to two, kill two rats, and then kill the other one with the glory bringer. I guess they'd have one rat left. This is... This is a stabilization. They discarded Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh, dang it. I get... Oh, dang it. That's rough because now we have no targets. I guess if we draw, like, Necromancy, we can still hit their Thief of Sanity or Unus Prowler. They have one card in hand, so they just make a rat, I guess. Oh, no attacks. Hmm. Oh, they do have worm coil. I didn't even see the worm coil, to be honest. I mean, we're definitely hitting their strip line here. Or their uh, ancient tomb, rather. Main. Yeah, they're going to make a rat in response. Discard Ulamog. Okay, bye, graveyard. Goodbye. They have no cards in hand, so they're either committed to the rats. They have, like, they can't reanimate anything. Okay, so they can make... If they double block here, that's just so bad for them, right? We have four zombies and an Ophiomancer. Like, they have to double block. And then we get to kill two rats. At five rats? No. Well, they're only going to have four rats this turn to attack with, and we can just block a million of them, so. You got it. Yeah, make another rat. Just keep on ratting. I'm just going to play my last card, because if they ha if they have to, like, mind twist or something... So next turn, we get to kill another rat with Glorybringer. Wow. I can't believe we're coming back from this pack rat nonsense. They've locked them into like they left. They've locked themselves into, into three land plays that are all, like mono black three land plays. Ooh. 
<laughs> so this is four more tokens. Yeah, that's game. That's got to be game. Alpha, one, two, three, four. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> I mean, if they end up picking up, if they end up literally drawing a three mana return spell, like this is their, their they can top deck here and kill us. Nope, they can't. Never mind, they're dead. Oops. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, man. Ooh, that was a hell of a match. Good times. Hmm. <sighs> Kerwit, have a good night, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Oh, we're playing against Flounders. Is this round two or three? Oh, it's round two. I thought it was round three for some reason. Ooh, Necromancy. Necromancy Una's probably pretty good. Let's top deck a Gristle Bee. Or a Mox into a Gristle Bee. <laughs> we're halfway there. Okay, we're doing it. Living on a prayer, take my hand. We're shot in port. Fascinating. Did you start it again? What did I start again? Simulation. Oh man, what's happening? Okay. Strip mine. I kind of just like strip mining their thing here. Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. Gristle brand off the top is where I want to be. I mean, we could just win with Azuna's Prowler, too. Like, if they play something cool, we can... We can heroes downfall it. They didn't play anything at all. Do it again. I'm probably going to discard two lands here. Like, reason being, the odds of us drawing more lands is high, and I also want to fill my hand as much as possible. Yeah, this seems good. Next time we can Fatal Push Rabble Master. Okay. They've also done nothing in four five turns, so that's weird. Yep. Oh, I see. They're going ham. Can't be questing beast. They don't have two green. Okay. Oh, uh, we're halfway there. Hmm. So I kind of want to kill the Wall of Roots, but also keep up Hero's Downfall. I think we can do that. It's going to eight here? Wow, wild. Let's discard Rabble Master, and that's it. Oh, I'm thinking we're probably going to do that. Woodfall? Oh my god, there's a Woodfall Primus in the graveyard now? <sighs> Buddy. I don't, I don't draft port, nor do I even have one in my cube. I think it's just kind of obnoxious. I also don't have Strip Mine or Wasteland in my cube. 
I might want Wasteland. Oh yeah, we're going to Woodfall Primus here for sure. One. Actually, let's discard Fatal Push and Young Peasy. One, two, three. Let's get down to business to reanimate this guy. Did you kill their ancient tomb? Yes, I did. Why? This guy's got reach. Yeah, I'm just going to kill it. God, I really hope you don't have a friggin' mana tithe. It's going to three, huh? What power level is your cube? It's vintage. It's a vintage cube. I just don't have storm components in it. Because I don't think Storm is actually a fun archetype when you're trying to have a good time with your friends and interact. Alright, so they had a bunch of... I think Bone Shredder is probably great in this matchup. Hmm. I'm still trying to live that Kozilek dream. Flame Slash also probably fine. Take out Rabble Master. I don't think you're getting through. You could probably just play 41 here. Wow. Wow, this hand is this hand is great. Oh, they went to six, and we're gonna get to turn one him to Torok them. Yikes. Land Primal Command. That could have been worse, I guess. Unless that was their only white source. Una's P. Easy as one, two, three. Also, Prismatic Vista triggering Fatal Push is nice. Like that. These are some good starts. Four forests. I keep waiting for the friggin' um, what's that dude called? Questing Beast. Yeah, we both have three cards except for Ivan Who's Prowler, a Duretti, an extra mana source, two constructs, and I have two removal spells in hand. So here comes a acidic slime. Okay. Killing my blood crypt. Oh, I guess I can't actually. I don't care about this thing. Sure, that's fine. Oh, that's pretty good. Choose up to one creature, sack this guy. Hunter's, Hunter, Hunter's big grumbly. We're going to keep the Hero's Downfall up, or the uh, the Fatal Push up in case we really need it. We have no use for red cards, right, or red mana right now, so that's fine. Plus, Yawgmoth has enough going on that, like, we probably don't need to aggressively get a red with a Prismatic Vista. If they play, like, Elder Gargaroth. I mean, we also have Duretti as an answer to creatures, like... So my odds are my my options are either block this guy. Also, actually, actually, Yogmoth triggers revolt as well. So draw another card, I guess. God, 
I got lots of friggin' beating. Thank you. Muffin of Doom. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Can finally catch Frank at Mana Screwed Live. What a time to be live. I don't think we're Mana Screwed, though. But you can catch me do that. Yeah, we're actually going to go get a red source here. Daretti. Daretti spaghetti. I can wait. I got time. One, two, three, four. Let's discard. We can discard Metamorph and like Hero's Downfall here, I think. Because of our, our sweet board state. Two Duretti's on board. It's got to be a... What do you call it? It's got to be a, an achievement, right? They discarded an Elder Gargaroth. I don't know for what, though. For a Hex Drinker. Okay. Sure. Two. Three. All right. Uh... It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. That's pretty good. Okay, we just win the match. Cool story, bro. A, B, C. Easy as well. Two, three. Rules are for dorks. Poor guy didn't know how negative one worked. Maybe they're like, I can level in response. And I'm like, nah, bro, you can't. So there's a pitch. So they're out was pitch the Gargaroth for Hex Shrinker and hope you. Yeah, I'm like, isn't Gargaroth just better? I think we all. The, well, the, the the most important thing we was the friends we made along the way. I also feel like they probably pitched Garg for something and they were like, I, nothing is better than that. Like, it was probably a situation where, like, they, they ditched Garg because they know it didn't do anything on the board, but then, like, they realized nothing else would do anything either, so. Survival does reveal, actually. Dang it, now I'm curious what it was. Yeah, anything that has a stipulation as to what you can get always reveals. So if you have to get an instant or sorcery, you have to reveal it. If you have to get a creature, you have to you have to reveal it. Yeah, this hand's a good one. Good one to mulligan. <laughs> yeah, all right. No black sources, but that's okay. Let's put Yawgmoth. I don't want to put Yawgmoth back because it's a it's quite good with um Ophiomancer. Interesting. I 
Yeah, I feel like this is where the wheels fall off. Muffin of Doom, like, see, this is what this is what you're waiting for. See, if like they didn't have a turn two drop, if they didn't have a, a play with three mana, then they're probably gonna be still not doing anything here. <sighs> really want a swamp. Actually, no, we really want a mox jet. Well, you know what? I asked for a swamp. I'll take the swamp. Okay, here's the questing beast we were waiting for all match. Garrick. Gary. I mean, to be fair, if we draw another black source, it's pretty good. Oh, seven mana, huh? Oh, I'll play Avenger of Zendikar. Oh, only five? Only an acidic slime getting rid of our... Oh, boy. What an absolute trash face. Really surprised they didn't kill Ophiomancer there. Do we just mind twist them for one? I mean, we're never going to have a chance to play this, really, so... You know, might as well. Maybe we'll hit Woodfall Pro... Oh, it's a forest. I, I went back and watched it, and they can confirm they got Hextringer. Okay, nice. Twist for one and grab that juice. Unfortunately, there was no juice there to be grabbed. Yep, that's what I was waiting for you to do. And now they're going to Crater Hoof? They're going to Fraley's. Okay. Where's Massacre Worm when you need it? I mean... I also don't want to draw Massacre Worm here, so I guess that's... Oh, I knew we were going to draw that, actually. So... Give me that snake. Maybe they'll forget Fraley's ability. That'd be cool. But they're probably just going to go get Crater Hoof next turn. Oh my god, they did. They let us keep Ophiomancer for a turn? Oh. It all makes sense now. Well. Sometimes you're just not meant to win games, you know? Oh yeah, get in there with all those idiots. I'll block the big boy again. They have no cards in hand. They only have two Planeswalkers on board. What could go wrong? <sighs> the problem is how many cards we have to draw to, to actually get things moving right now. We need to draw fourth land for these guys. They're going to go get great. Now they're going to go get Greater Hoof. Wait, what did they do? Oh, they drew five. That's good. That's good, too. Seven. Sack a creature. Drange Termit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, they don't have Greater Hoof mana now. Jesus, can you imagine, like, friggin' Massacre Room here? Holy shit. Embercle the Aeon's Torn. Sure. Sure. You got it. Hmm. That's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. Man, if only we can get this Ashen Rider into play. That would be the day. Okay. Okay. I kind of want to bring a Living Death and Bone Shredder here. And Flame Slash. Let's take out Rabble Master. Uh, let's take out the Kozilek. It's probably too cute. I think we're going to 41 it, guys. Living death. Make it happen. Make it happen, Cap'n. Hmm. 
Okay. I mean, it's like three removal spells. It seems pretty good against the green deck, one of which can kill a Planeswalker. So the thing about Prismatic Vista is that we're getting a black source no matter what. So this lets us actually use our first turn on a creature and then our second turn on another creature, so... Like it. Like it. Or fellows. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here comes Emrakul. Here comes big Emrakul. And we're going to be real sad that we didn't uh, hold our mox jet for next turn. <sighs> Boy. Yep. Kozilek. All right, so they're Emrakuld out, I guess. That's pretty good. Oh, wow. This is actually great for us, surprisingly. That guy sucks. So because they're discarding a card this turn... They lost Channel, Kozilek, and whatever card they discard. And they drew four, so they only netted one card there. And they took ten damage. Okay. Doretti Spaghetti. Yeah, you got it. All right. Well, they can draw channel again, but now they can't Emrakul us. So that's cool. They can't Emrakul us. Here comes that. I'm waiting for Questing Beast, man. <laughs> you got it. Six mana. Primeval Titan. Big Prims. Sure. Bing, ding, ding. Um. Just doing the one here. Eh, Metamorph's not super exciting. Oof. I mean, we have not drawn a lot here, so I'm not super... Six mana? Are you not attacking? You're just going to play some for six? Okay. Boy, they're really empty in their hand here. Grave Titan. This is awkward because we only have five lands. I mean, I feel like we kind of have to get rid of something here. So what is this? This is six mana, so this is actually 12, 13. Like, they actually have Emrakul mana in hand, which is pretty sad. Uh, if you do return an artifact from your river to the battlefield... It's not going to do anything. Whenever an artifact is put in the graveyard from the battlefield, return that card to the battlefield at the beginning of end step. Emblem's not bad. I 
Unfortunately, we don't have enough mana to play Emblem and Metamorph and Shredder this turn. Discard Bone Shredder and Grave Titan. Let's hit that Emrakul. It was Primal Command, which is basically an Emrakul, to be quite fair. Uh, let's copy and ooze. Well, they're in top deck mode now. So I'm sure they drew exactly what they needed to. <laughs> they top decked Emrakul. <laughs> cool. What can you do, I guess? Thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on twitch.tv slash Frankelpore. Be sure to subscribe. Head on over to the channel. Support the content you're watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.